Alec Manoa has only been in the league for about two years, yet has quickly cemented himself as one of baseball's best pitchers. Now, it's not necessarily an underdog story by any means, with Manoa being a first round pick and the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. He was very good in college, and looking back, he was a pretty obvious pick for the Jays. It was obviously a good one. He's always been good, and has seemed to only be getting better as time goes on. But obviously, that does not take away anything from Alec Manoa. To even make it into Major League Baseball is an accomplishment, let alone become one of the best at your position two years in. He has a bright future ahead on a young Blue Jays team with a bright future ahead as well. At least that's what it looks like. Manoa is also a pretty big guy. I mean, if you look at him for a second, you'd know that. I don't know if fat is the right word to call him. I think he's just built a little bigger and stronger than most. He's very tall at six foot six, and he's also 285 pounds. Put those two things together and you have a tank. Alec Manoa is a tank. He's a big guy, throws hard, is nasty. I mean, he'd be a picture-perfect ace for any team. Could Manoa lose some pounds? I guess, yeah, but that wouldn't necessarily be a good thing for him. And to back that statement up, I have a really good example. Over 60% of my watch time is from non-subscribers, so make sure to hit that button along with the bell for notifications. CC Sabathia, an elite pitcher with Cleveland and New York throughout his career, he was always known to be a big guy, someone who many even called fat. If you look at CC Sabathia now that he's retired, he's in much better shape. He looks thinner and stronger. The question some may ask is, why does he look in better shape now than when he was playing? Well, Sabathia himself has answered that. Back before the 2015 season, CC Sabathia purposefully gained 30 pounds because he wasn't as good and comfortable on the mound pitching when he was skinnier. Sabathia literally said when referring to that, quote unquote, I felt good, but I just wasn't strong. I just had no velocity. I had no push. I couldn't feel my body in space. The moment Sabathia retired, he committed to slimming down and getting in better shape, and he since has. But again, he's not playing anymore, and when he did play, he felt he was better when he was bigger, and the history and stats back that up. So with Manoa's case, if he slimmed way down and got thinner, he might regress a ton. Being the way he is is likely a big part of his game and what factors into his success. Well, there's a former player who weighed in, no pun intended, on Alec Manoa and his weight in particular. The former player's name is Anthony Recker, and he is currently an MLB Network analyst. On the topic of starting pitchers under 30 years old and Alec Manoa, this is what he said. Watch. Uh, Alec Manoa, I love you, Alec. Just show me you're willing to put in a little more time in the gym and, and that you're going to be there consistently for a little bit longer. I still love you. This clip soon made its way to Twitter, and little did Recker know, but he just started a war. This clip was quote tweeted by Alec Manoa himself, who said this, Hey, at Anthony Recker, my job isn't to please you. You are an outsider. You don't know me or my work ethic. What I do in the gym has clearly worked. Check the numbers. Sucks you can't say the same for yourself. Wrecker then responded by saying, Don't let someone throw a video out of context at you and get you upset. You're an incredible talent, man, and I'd love to see you make the most of that. I hope to see you continue to get better and be great for a long time. I wish I had even a tiny speck of the talent you do. This was never meant to be shade. Obviously, someone wanted to make it seem that way. To which Manoa responded to and said, You're just like everyone else. Love to talk and then want to say sorry when you get called out. If you want to see how an all star, first team all MLB, and Cy Young finalist trains, come meet me at Manoa Driven, which is his training program. Marcus Stroman then had to chime in, saying, What a clown you are, Anthony Recker. Poo poo take from a bum, a nobody who has accomplished nothing in life. Keep your mouth shut and stop talking down on players. Alec Manoa is one of the best pitchers in baseball. You talk on TV for a living because your game was trash. Going on to say, the fact that Wrecker is even allowed to speak on TV with the career he had is truly comical. The jealousy of these clown media members who couldn't cut it on the field is hilarious. Bitter little baby boys, poo poo careers turned into terrible analysts. Shit is too funny, lol. Wrecker then tweeted at Strowman and said, Hey Stro, I'm not interested in Twitter battles or spreading hate. My words of Alec on TV weren't indicative of how I feel about him or what I was truly trying to say. I made a mistake. Would love to get in touch with him to personally solve this. No need to make it worse. To which Strowman responded, You're not interested in spreading hate, yet you're on MLB Network hating and body shaming one of the best pitchers in baseball. You make zero sense. You're a clown for that. You can't grow the game by tearing down its players. Be better or get off TV and go find a hobby. Wrecker has since tried to make amends with Manoa by publicly telling Manoa to reach out to him. So, wow. 
do I think what Wrecker said was a little dumb and unnecessary? Yeah, kinda. I don't think it was dumb and unnecessary because he was quote-unquote fat-shaming him, but more so because of what I explained about Sabathia. Manoa probably doesn't need to trim down the weight. He's already so good as is, and if anything, losing weight could hurt his game. But at the same time, I don't know, maybe Manoa took it a little too far? Marcus Stroman, along with Manoa, of course decided not to only just criticize Wrecker, but attack him as a person. I mean, things got pretty heated. Let me know what you think about this situation, whose side you're on, who you think was more on the right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.